When does it occur to us that, that there were faults in our parenting? Obviously, uh, for some people, you know, that, it's, it's very obvious in their youth that there was an issue, domestic violence or whatever. But as adults, when do we start to look back at what our parents did and be hypercritical of them? I think you start to look back when you have your own kids. Mm. Um, we all have our own parent in us. And we open up our mouth sometimes and our parent just jumps out. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, but, but I think it actually it's when we have our own kids and we start to really engage in the whole parenting process and we often start to look back at, at the way our parents parented us and what was good, what was bad. Um, I call it the, the notion of the John West, we take the best and reject the rest. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's when we move into adulthood. And also, I think part of the notion of adulthood is the fact of realising that geez, maybe some things weren't as good as what it could have been, but don't be held back by that, but move on. Mm. When do, the question I ask myself all the time, is, uh, and I thought it was the question you were asking then, when do you realise as a parent that you're actually parenting well. When does it? Mm. When, do, when do you know? When do you when know do you that get you're the doing the right thing? <laughs> yes. And when do you get the payoff? When do you know that you're doing the right thing? No, that's a that's a fantastic question. Actually, I think we examine ourselves so much in this day and age, um, which is we need to be careful we don't lose the instinct. Um, you know, rather than parenting by the book. I think you start to get an idea of when your kids move into adolescence and beyond. And my kids are moving to that stage and we're actually starting to sit back and, and see, well, you can see all the bad stuff because they, actually throw, they throw it back in your face, but you actually can see what your kids are like. Um, I call it the family frame, that what all your kids have in common is an indication of your values and your parenting. Mm. Um, it doesn't mean that if you've got one that's gone off the rails that you've been a bad parent either because just by families by their very nature it means that if you've got three or four you're going to get the black sheep because kids are niche marketers mm. yeah. uh, you know they, they want to move into their niche and if if goodness is gone if the first one's a responsible one and the, yeah. and the second one may go down a certain track sometimes one kid will sit back and go well mm. gee i might be the pest at least i know i'm around it and they'll go down that that track so it's not so much you know, do I have one who has gone off the rails? Um, because it's actually, I think it's about how strong your family is. Mm. Mm. And about treating uh, them fairly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W without going overboard. Sometimes I see, I see uh, parents probably parent poorly by trying to be fair. For instance, uh, if you buy one a coat because they need a coat or need a new pair of shoes, don't buy the other one a pair of shoes because, um, you know, I bought it for this person, I want to be fair. That's dumb parenting. Yeah. Um, what that child needs to learn is that you got to, you get a coat next year or you get a new pair of shoes next year or whatever it is. So sometimes by being it. fair, we actually overcompensate mm. uh, and where kids need to learn that my time will come and I can't always get what I want. Mm. Good advice. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Fantastic.